Hey guys, welcome back to the Films 128 channel. Today's episode is sort of a double episode because neither one really needed too much time. So the main part is going to be I shot this wacky film, Revlog 600NM. Get that close. I figured for this odd film I'll use the T70 because why throw any more variables in it because let's just let the film be what it's going to be. And I thought, what would be a cool place to take a weird film like this? And there was a local carnival going on. So I brought the camera to the carnival, took some shots, and I will show you what I got there. But first, first, let's step back. So I've been shooting a lot of episodes, and they've been edited in very strange order. And it's taking me forever, lots of stuff, life, everything like that, getting in the way. So some of this stuff was shot months ago, some of it was shot only weeks ago. It's just a big mess. So in July of 2021, we adopted a new puppy. Her name is Abby. And I shot some film the first day we got her. We shot on the EOS Rebel G, Canon camera, and shot it. I just threw the most basic film I had. It was, I didn't even know I still had it. It was uh, Kodak Ultra, just a generic color film that if you still found film in a store today that's probably what you're gonna pick up you know nothing special just plain color film and it was the first day we had her and I shot the whole roll and I want to show you a little bit of that footage and a little bit of the photos I got of her so she just got, this is literally two minutes out of the car she just got home So, so anyway, back, <laughs> back to the other part of the episode, which is going to be the weird, wacky Revlog film at the carnival, and I'll show you what I got with that part. This 600NM Revlog film, experimental crazy goodness, 
Made in Austria. Neat. Uh, it's okay. I got some interesting results. The color stuff is interesting. I think in like a city, this might be fun. You know, I thought a carnival with all the colors would be the best use of it. Um, it's just, I really think the place I was, it was just a crappy little carnival. And so the shots were very limited to what I could get and what it would look, how it, nice it could look. I mean, we're talking, it's literally in a parking lot of a Michaels, so. But I tried. I'm trying to look for something that might be interesting to Photoshop. See, like, I think a shot of a merry-go-round with this film would be very cool. But I've got crap everywhere. Like, there's no, there was no good angle of anything. Because it, it needed to go to an actual amusement park, not a little carnival. It was just too much crap everywhere in every shot. Just need to see cables and big trucks and, you know, utility type stuff everywhere. Same thing, see? It's cool colors though. So the film, I think the film itself has promised to do something like what I did here, but in a way better location. Like that one, that's kind of cool looking. And see, I don't even know if you would Photoshop something like that, like, cause that is the cool effect of it. And you definitely get the carnival feel with the cold drinks and the candy and the candy apples, funnel cakes over there. You get that idea. If I brought it into Photoshop, I think it would just try to color correct it. Let me see. Let's open up Photoshop, drop this guy back in. And I wonder if it'll just, you know, correct it. It tried to. Well, that's kind of interesting. Now the... What was that? So it's kind of faded there, muted. Now it's a little more sharper and the colors are still kind of interesting. So it's not bad. I actually don't know if I like it better like this. I kind of like it better faded like that. It looks like a, you know, an old, you're looking through an old old photo album and the, you know, the chemicals have definitely been screwed up and they're fading and the colors are all turning pinks and weird. Kind of looks better as is. Creepy as hell. Again, you get what I'm going for. You know, you'd see the swings in the night looking nice but you see the other rides in the background but because it's crap you also see wheels and trucks and every other damn thing not terrible that's a cool shot let's look at that one real quick 18 do a quick auto tone and see what it does I like that actually I like how the sky has gone from this red to this light blue across the whole thing Again, before a switch, after a switch. Yeah, I kind of like that. I actually really like this shot. This could be a print. Let me save that as is. I don't think I would do anything else to it, dodge burn, anything like that. I think the colors being kind of the technical term, out of whack makes it so that I don't want to make anything sharp. I don't want to highlight or, or contrast anything. I want it to look slightly off in every which way. Slightly interesting. Not really feeling it. Very much turned orange in that shot. That's okay. Let's look at that one real quick in the photo of the shops. And do an auto tone on it. Kind of neat. That one I would kind of adjust. It's a little bit dark. I kind of like that. It's not terrible. It's not great, but it's something. It's a result of very strange film. And then I just burnt the rest of the film out and about to see what it would do, what landscape shots would look like, and that's a no-go. I definitely think it needs to be in some kind of a city or some, you know, man-made stuff. I think once you're out 
in landscape stuff, you can just see it's it screws with the colors, but not in a good way at all. Like that just looks horrible, horrible. Got to really emphasize the algae, didn't it? Ugh. Yeah, it doesn't really. No help for it there. Nah. That's an okay shot, but it's the colors are useless on it. It just it ruins it. So anyway, it was a fun film to mess with, and some okay results. And uh, new dog Abby shall be in other videos going forward. But anyway, that is it for the episode. Thank you all for watching. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you next time.